podcast, and I just wanted to share with you uh, a recent project. You may have seen me post a video of this on um, Facebook. This is a, uh, an, a relatively simple technique. There's another glass artist, Paul Hughes, who shared his example, and that inspired me. Although this isn't a new idea, it's really just color displacement. But let's see, can you see? Yeah, so there you go. You can see all these different cells uh, or bubbles in this um, piece. This is bullseye's Egyptian blue, um, opaque glass. And uh, these were Tecta nuggets uh, that I stacked on top and, uh, and did a full fuse. Uh, there's a layer of Tecta underneath and I thought I would just show you real quick uh, how this works. And um, the, the really cool thing is the effect that you get. So you, you see all that depth, really cool. But look what happens when you turn on light behind it. So because of that color displacement, you get light that comes through because those areas where those uh, little nuggets or dots or blobs or puddles, whatever you want to call them, uh, full fuse down in, displaced that uh, blue glass, uh, quite a bit of it anyway, and gives you this effect. There was also a clear layer of Tecta on the back. So I did um, a round three millimeter layer of clear Tecta, a round three millimeter piece of Egyptian, uh, code 164, Egyptian blue from Bullseye, and then uh, I pre-fused these Tecta nuggets. So these are just, I mean, these are dots or nuggets like you make in the, in the kiln. Lots of, lots of folks make these. These were just scraps of Tecta. Um, you know, frankly, a lot of this were the corner pieces that came out of cutting the circle. So I just used uh, mosaic tile nippers, nipped them into different shapes and sizes and small bits, washed them up, full fused them, uh, pre-fused them in the kiln. And then, um, like I said, I put a disc of clear down and a disc of, of bullseye, and then I set these pre-fused uh, pieces on top and they melted down. So as you can see in the photo, uh, you can kind of see what that looks like here uh, before it went in for a full fuse. Now the full fuse schedule that I used uh, and it happened to work for me was um, I took it up to 1225, at, I think it was 400 degrees uh, an hour to 1225 and I held that for 90 minutes. So I did an extra long bubble squeeze. Then I took it as fast as possible to 1490, which is a good full fuse temp in my kiln. And I held that for 15 minutes. Then as fast as possible down to 900 for my annealing temp. And, um, you know, I was extra cautious on this one. So I annealed it really long because I ultimately had, you know, two six millimeter layers or so of glass. And so I annealed it for two and a half hours. Uh, before cooling it down fully. So that is the resulting piece. Now one thing that I did learn in the process, I'm going to turn this light off because I think you'll see it better. Uh, the clear disc that I had uh, cut, oh, it's a little wet here, let me wipe that down. The clear uh, that I cut was, uh, I, I cracked it uh, when I was cutting it and rather than just scrapping it, I decided you know what, it's a clear disc, I'll use it as the base under something else, uh, and I decided to, to repurpose it, and that's what I did here, and let's see if you can see it. It doesn't show up as well on the video, but you can see that original crack that goes through here. Now, it's fully healed, or, you know, it's it, it's uh, certainly structurally sound because it's, it's full fused and it's all good, but you can still see that original um, crack that runs through there. You really can't see it from the top, from the front, so I'm okay with that. You can very slightly, can you see it uh, running through there? I think I think you really only see it if you know to look for it, but I know to look for it, so it's there. But whatever, um, now I know the next time, uh, you know, that, uh, that that's gonna happen again if, if I choose to do it that way, but that's it. I just wanted to share with you uh, this piece because it got quite a few great reactions. It's, it's a super easy uh, thing to do. Cutting circles aren't easy, but um, you know, as a beginner's project, uh, using opaque glass and uh, clear nuggets, you get some, uh, some neat look there. Imagine this on red. Um, someone online mentioned adventuring green. I think that would look really cool, so I'm eager to try that. Um, you know, this Egyptian blue, in my opinion, is just gorgeous. And I had a sheet for a while and didn't know what to do with it. And then when I saw Paul's uh, example, I knew he used a uh, turquoise blue, which was also beautiful. But when I saw his, I thought, oh, that's a perfect use of that, uh, of that Egyptian blue.